Okay, the name of this lake here is uh, It means uh, stink lake. But um, where it first came from, how it first came about was over on the other side, and if we would have been able to see it after the fog lifted, right on the other side of the cliff where you go back this way, there's a, there's a, you can see that there's kind of a hilltop that goes all the way along back there, and there's a trail that leads all the way back, all the way back that way towards, up on top, up towards um, um, Big Draw, where we were. So, but on that trail, coming this way, was, um, was uh, Mountain Lion. And he was coming towards this way, and, and Skunk, Skunk was headed the other direction. And he was going on the trail, and, and as Cougar was coming along, and he looked, and Skunk was coming towards him, and he's like, oh, man. Well, Chachas was the name of the skunk. He was the chief. He was the chief of the skunks. And Swa was the mountain lion's name, and he was the chief of the mountain lions. And so as Swa was coming along, and he saw Chachas coming, and he was just, oh, no, you know, and he didn't want to meet up with him on the trail. And, you know, because of skunk's reputation and he just didn't want to meet up with him and so he was like just wondering what he could do you know wondering what he should do about it and so he thought well maybe if I lay down here by the trail and pretend like I'm dead then maybe the um, skunk will just walk right on by and he won't even, won't even notice me. Just leave me alone. So, <laughs> do you want me to wait? Okay. So, um, so that's what he did. He laid down there next to the trail, and as he was laying there, and Skunk was coming along, and he was carrying his backpack, you know, he had a, his backpack was like woven, you know, made out of a, like a basket, a long basket, and so he had a strap on it, you know, and he was carrying it along, going along, and he stopped, and he looked, and he saw, saw something laying there next to the trail, and he thought, ah, what's this? He goes over to it, and looks at it, kicks it, and rolls it over, Looks like he's dead. Well, I might be able to use it for something. So he picks him up, stuffs him into his backpack, puts it on, and starts walking again. So there's SWAT all stuffed into the backpack, thinking, oh, no, you know, oh, man. Now how am I going to get out of this? What am I going to do now? And Skunk is coming this way on the other side of the cliff and he's coming on the trail this way and so SWAT thinks, well, if I knew what, if I knew what he was afraid of, if I knew what skunks were afraid of, then maybe I could scare him and if he ran away, then he might drop, he might drop me and then I can escape. But what are they afraid of? So he kind of used his powers and he started thinking really hard. What are skunks afraid of? What are skunks afraid of? And skunk was going along, and then he heard those thoughts. And as he heard them, he was thinking, and he says, What am I afraid of? Ha! I ain't afraid of nothing. Nothing scares me. And he's gone, and he thinks, Well, kind of looks around and says, Well, except for whistling. Kind of shudders and thinks, oh. He looks around and he starts walking again, and then Swa thinks, aha, that's what it is. So Swa's in there and he goes, and 
skunk stops and looks around. What was that? What was that? He's looking around. And he starts to walk again. And when he just, then he's scared you know, and he drops his backpack and he takes off running. He's running back the other way and he's taken off running and he goes quite a ways and he realizes there's nothing after him or anything so he turns around and he says, oh man, now i got to go back after my backpack. Well, when he dropped it, then Swa climbs out of the backpack and ha ha ha, fooled him. So he gets out and Cougar comes on around the, comes around this side of the cliff and goes back this way. There's a steep trail back there that you can go back and forth on and get up on top. And so he went back this way and he went back up there and he zigzagged back and forth until he got up on top and then he came all the way over to the top of the cliff right up on the front. And he was looking down watching Skunk. And in the meantime, Skunk got back over to where his backpack was and he looks and it's empty and he's, what? You know, he gets really mad and he says, he wasn't even dead. I'll get him. I'll fix him for that. He grabs it and he takes off and he's following Cougar's tracks and following him and he's running as fast as he could, you know. And of course, you know, Skunk's legs are like this tall, you know, so he's running really hard and as fast as he could, running and running and running. By the time he gets around the cliff, he's pretty tired. And it's, you know, nice sunny hot day and he gets around on this side and he's pretty tired and thirsty and as he's coming around on this side of the cliff he decides, you know, man, I'm thirsty. And he looks down at the lake, you know, and he says, well, maybe I'll go down and get a drink. And he comes down, gets down at the lake and he goes to lay down next to the lake there to take a drink. You know, you can see right in there under the reflection, you can see Chief Cliff. When he gets down, he lays down and he can see the reflection of the cliff and as he lays down to take a drink and he looks and he sees and there's Swaz on top of the cliff looking down at him and laughing at him. Ah, you'll never catch me. He's so slow. He's never going to get me. Ah, ha, ha. And he's laughing at him. And he looks and as Skunk is looking in the water and he sees him and he says, what? You know, he's laughing at me, huh? You think that's funny, huh? And he jumps up and he stands up and turns around. He thinks he, he thinks from the reflection, he thinks that's cougar in the lake. And so he turns around and he just sprays the lake. And he turns back around and looks again. Cougar's laughing even harder at him. Gets really mad. And he turns around and he sprays it again. Turns back around and looks and cougar is splitting the gut by this time. And, yeah, you know, that, that ain't nothing. You can't get me in turns around so he just kind of really oh yeah just gears himself up you know loads up both barrels <laughs> turns around and just as much as he could boy just lets it all go man and it just so much and so hard that he sprayed so hard so on then when he got done he was just totally exhausted and he turns around and he's Dizzy and bang, falls over on his back. And as he's laying there on the ground on his back and he looks up and he sees Cougar up there laughing at him. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, you think so you think you tricked me, huh? So he gets back up after he rests a little bit, gets back up and loads back up again. shoots cougar right off the top of the cliff. <coughs> so, now this was the one who was doing the spray and chachas, he was the chief, right? And that was the chief too, Swa. He was also the chief of the mountain lions. So, they called that cliff Chief Cliff from that battle between the two chiefs. And, and ever since then, well, there's a couple of other stories about Chief Cliff of why it's called Chief Cliff, but that was that was the first one, was because of those two chiefs that had their battle there. But uh, then the lake, what happened to the lake afterwards was, I mean, it killed everything in the lake. And ever since then, 
No fish or anything has been able to grow in this lake. It's a dead lake. And the geologists, I think the guy, I think he called it um, stratified. It's like there's different sediment layers or something and they went through this whole explanation about how there isn't, um, you know, a, a enough of a system or oxygen in there to support life and all this kind of stuff, but it was, um, that's, that's the way they would see the story. But what had happened from, what, uh, so the name of the lake um, is Stink Lake because of what um, skunk did to it.